for Jonathan. Jonathan. You're supposed to be sitting in that seat. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, Johnny, you're supposed to be sitting in that seat. John, 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 John,
for helping with the majority of her homeschool education, which allowed me to focus on the fun subjects like art and field trips. <laughs> I have very fond memories so of you visiting my counseling office after I was done seeing clients and you would play in my sand tray with all the little sand tray toys, remember that? And you were so captivated by hot wheel cars and toy vehicles and you would line them all up in perfect little rows. And they all kind of had to go in the exact same direction and everything and he was real neat and tidy that way. That kind of disappeared lately. <laughs> Um, yeah. Let's see, you started soccer at a very young age. You were recruited at the YMCA, remember that? And joined Coach Dan and Coach Brian's team where you learned uh, European soccer moves. And it was so much fun. To, he would sit there and watch the soccer videos that they gave to him because they told him you have to have X amount of touches on the ball, meaning your feet have to touch the ball. And they would teach him all these moves. And he took it serious, man. He was. He was going pro at age, you know, I don't know, eight or whatever age you were. Do you remember what age you were? About eight or nine. About eight or nine, yeah. That was soccer, and we, we loved the, the teams and the, the parents and everything was uh, great. And John was very, very talented. He, you were interested in a lot of other sports too, football, basketball, and even a little karate. Remember that? Karate, you were pretty little, I think. Um, from from soccer, all of a sudden basketball really captured your attention. And you entered into junior high, and pretty soon we switched from going to tons of soccer games to going to tons of basketball games, and we went to March Gladness, which I don't know if, if you've heard of that, but that's a homeschool version of March Madness. So March Gladness, all the homeschoolers would get together and play against one another, or the homeschool team, basketball teams. Um, that was fun. That, that, those were some good times. And then um, in high school, more opportunities arose for you to play basketball. In addition to Christian Life Academy, you played with Coach Lasardo, and he took you on a trip to Colorado, which was rather interesting. <laughs> we were thrilled that you had the opportunity to travel with CLA to the Homeschool Basketball National Championships in Missouri. You had so many wonderful teammates, and their parents were great people. Um, as we prepared to move to Tennessee, you were not thrilled about moving away from your friends, but you were excited at the prospect of finally having your own room <laughs> and your own basketball hoop, which you have <laughs> in our driveway. Once we arrived here in Tennessee, it was a bit lonely at first, and I'm so glad that Tiffany Barlow, raise your hand, Tiffany. <laughs> she invited us to participate with the co-op in Knoxville, and so we did. And Johnny, you wrote some awesome speeches, or papers, and gave some awesome speeches at co-op that, that we just were so proud of you for. And then the other memory that I forgot to write down, um, and I wish Debbie were here, Sam's mom. Sam, raise your hand. Debbie, we went and did, uh, Johnny wanted to do, um, oh dear. Good News Club. Good News Club, thank you. Good News Club. So we did that for uh, a semester at a local public school, so after school. We were allowed to come in and basically totally teach the gospel to these darling little rascals, <laughs> <laughs> elementary school age kids. And um, we were really thankful to Debbie for giving Johnny that opportunity. So Sam, we have a, something a little special. One for Tiffany. Tiffany, thank you so much for co-op and all that you did. And then one for Debbie. So give that to your mama for inviting us to be a part of um, Good News Club. Okay, let's see. Um, then, for your senior year, John, you got a job, thanks to your brother, Ben, at Target, and it proved, you proved to be a hard worker that your supervisors and coworkers really appreciated, so they offered you a 40 hour a week position, which is fairly rare for someone just starting out. And you, um, let's see, I lost my, Oh yes, this is important. So then, John, I really appreciate what a supportive, kind-hearted young man you were when your dad was going through chemo and we didn't know for a while what was gonna happen. And Johnny came into the bedroom and threw his arms around me and said, it's gonna be okay, Mom, it's gonna be okay one morning. So that was a mental block to me. And just know that that went so far with me, so um, that was awesome. 
And then I just want you to know that we think that you're very intelligent, fun, kind, Hardworking. What did I say? <laughs> 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 we know. We know you're intelligent, fun, kind, hardworking young man, and I'm honored to be your mom. So, without further ado, I'm going to show the slideshow, and um, then I'll have just a few, three verses that I want to deliver to Johnny to take forward with him. <laughs>
hearing aids. <laughs> oh, yeah. Way shopping slam down.
through the good times and the bad. Jesus has gone to prepare a place for you in heaven, and if you always keep that first and foremost in your mind, you will have the peace that passes understanding, no matter your circumstances. So the three verses I want to commend to you are Philippians 3.20. Our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. And then Zephaniah 3.17. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exult over you with loud singing. And then last but not least, Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. And now I want to give a big thank you and shout out and a welcome mom up. But mom, you are the one who provided excellent homeschooling for John. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I doubt there are enough words to express the gratitude I have for you and your teaching gifts. And I'd like to turn it over to you now before I cry. <laughs> and you can say a few words if you'd like. And thank you. Down. I'm going to have our dad go first. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was our privilege to be able to help to homeschool both Ben and John. Ben failed out of high school. He went on to the Escondido Charter High School, which was a great, great school. A great experience for Ben. But the John Ferretti, I don't know if you had it and entered or not, decided not to go to Charter, but to stay with us. And yes, Grandma Joyce was um, Sherry's assistant teacher. Is that what it was called? I think I was the assistant. <laughs> <laughs> and I was her TA, her teacher's assistant. And as such, I would come in occasionally and help with the assembly classes like Bible class, and um, 
Are you the one that taught him to play basketball? <laughs> Soccer, basketball, fencing. Not, not really, but he did play softball and soccer ball. Not much soccer for me. It wasn't like basketball. Football. And no, no football. And things like that when we had the occasion and the ability to do it. Three times I thought he was going to kill me playing basketball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it wasn't his ball, it was clumsy me. <laughs> when uh, we were playing out in the back of the home there in Oceanside on one occasion. And the other time, I'm not sure where we were, it must have been in Escondido. We were down the side street, we dropped Ben off to take his piano lesson. And so, since he was with me, we walked down the street about a half of a block or so. We got to the end of the cul-de-sac and there was a basketball hoop. <laughs> so the next time we came, we brought our basketball. And in both of those locations, I jumped up and came down with the flat. Did not do a bit. <laughs> and I walked a little slowly after that. <laughs> then, um, I don't know if some of the, uh, what do they call those other things? Uh, Bill Cripps? Bill Cripps? Yes. Okay. Bill Cripps. Maybe. And our biggie was 2011. Remember that, John? Mm -hmm. Ten years old. Eleven. I saw a couple of pictures in there. Uh -huh. How old were you? About ten. That's right. I saw a couple of pictures in there. Anyone see him sitting in the driver's seat of a couple of sharp <laughs> cars? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. He had a thing for cars, and especially the um, Maserati. Lamborghini. Lamborghini. Nope. Oh, Maserati. Yep. He's been teaching me all along too. He didn't learn all those things. <laughs> So our big was to go down to the new car convention in San Diego at the convention center in 2011. And the first thing we looked for was the Lamborghini. Now they didn't have a full display that year, but they did have one Lamborghini on display. He was broken and he couldn't touch it. He couldn't get in it. Just had to stand out inside and move and on and talk about it. And, uh, he had already learned enough about cars that the attendant who was here listening to all of our conversation said, hey, he's pretty sharp on his understanding of Lamborghini, isn't he? <laughs> he really was. But the fun part came when we walked through the rest of the show and he was able to get into the driver's seats and uh, I actually took one or two pictures on a little camera that was, it's ancient, and I took the pictures we, we really enjoyed our time there at the uh, car show that day. So, um, John, there was something I wanted to do, if you can do it now, I don't know if you can do it now or not. Bring up, it's actually on um, somewhere in the sky in the cloud. <laughs> but one of the, one of the uh, places that we visited that day was the television station, a local station there in San Diego, and they were giving the news and they invited John to come up and be the reporter for an accident that had just occurred there down in San Diego, drivers and crashes and whatever else. And if you can get that up now, I'd like them to see his first 